Hi guys, welcome back to Harpoon at Home. Uh, we're getting ready for a fun, creative workout today. You get to choose your own ending. So we do this every once in a while in the gym, gives you a little bit of freedom. We're gonna do the same thing today. You can break this workout up however you want. So today's a lot more about strategy designed for you and it's kind of just dependent on your skill set and I'll talk you through it a little bit how I would approach it and you can go from there. So first thing we're gonna go through the warm up, we're gonna take it through two times through. So you're gonna do 30 total walking lunges, making sure that we lunge in a nice 90 degree angle. You can either walk and wander around your garage or room or you can stay in place. Then we're gonna go down top of the push up position we're gonna do 30 shoulder taps, pulling that same hand up towards the shoulders. If you're looking at me from the front view, pulling it straight up, trying not to rock too much, squeezing through the midline, keeping everything nice and tight. You're gonna go ahead and take a seat after that. You're gonna do 20 sit-ups. You can just bend the legs, go ahead, sit up, touch the toes, lean on back, sit up and touch the toes. From there, then you're gonna flip on back over. You're going to do 20 mountain climbers, so same thing, plank position, only now we're driving knee to the elbow. Okay, so you can rock back and forth. Every single one of those touches to the knee counts as a rep. Then we got 10 jump squats, so you're just going to lower down, jump up, right back into it for 10 jump squats. And then we're going to finish with 10 boot strappers. Nice wide position, squat on down, tuck the hands underneath the toes. Lift the hips to the sky, tuck the chin, nice long spine, right on back down, and then we go again. All right, a couple of those each time. So, as we get into it here, you're going to take yourself through that warm up two times. Then the workout itself is 150 deadlifts, 150 shoulder to overhead. Every minute on the minute, including the zero, you're going to do 10 double bent over rows. So it's gonna eat into your two minute windows a little bit. So, top of the workout, okay? We go up to our dumbbells, we stand up, we set our spine nice and tight here. We're gonna hinge forward to that hang position and we're gonna pull thumbs up to the shoulders, okay? 10 bent over rows there. Pulling elbows up to the sky, all right? Then, from there, as soon as I finish those bent over rows, I get to choose where I want to go next. My recommendation to you is to start with something that is challenging for you when you're at fatigue. For me, when I'm at fatigue, I can kind of move through the deadlifts pretty steady. So I'm going to go and try to do as many of my shoulder to overhead as I can before I need a break. When I need that break, I'm going to go ahead and drop down and do a few deadlifts before that two minute mark comes up, alternating between the two. So part of what you'll need to figure out is how you're gonna mark yourself and how you're gonna keep count for yourself. What I'd recommend is walking up to a whiteboard or piece of paper, draw out chunks of 10, and then tick those off as you do it. So maybe in my first set, I end up doing 20 shoulder to overhead, and I get to clear that off my board. That way I have them all set up, I know where I'm at no matter where I'm breaking. It's gonna be a tough one to keep track of. So just to review the other movements, say I do those bent over rows and then I decide after my bent over rows that I wanna go into my shoulder to overhead, okay? I can stand right here and then I can do a little bit of a hang clean to jump it up to the shoulder, all right? Now from this position, we can dip drive and push press we can dip drive and push jerk to get underneath it. Okay, if you're really strong, you can strict press them. Wouldn't recommend that over time. Then we got the deadlift. We're definitely familiar with this at this point. Dumbbell hangs in the back side of our hands. Send the hips back, touch the dumbbell, stand on up. Nice and tight stance here. Send those hips back, stand on up. Okay, two minute comes around. We got these 10 bent over rows again before we can get back to it, all right? Now, for those of you that don't have dumbbells or access to dumbbells, in place of your deadlifts, you're gonna do 150 air squats. So nice wide stance, squat on down, stand on up. In place of your shoulder to overhead, you're going to do 
150 push-ups. Lower yourself down. Chest goes to the deck. Stand up all the way. Okay? And then you're every minute on the minute. You're going to do 20 total mountain climbers. Okay? 20 total. 10 on each side there. All right? Again, you're going to break it up however you want. So, awesome options might be big set out of the gate with the thing you're bad at or five rounds, 30 deadlifts, 30 shouldered overhead, maybe 10 rounds, 15 deadlift, 15 shouldered overhead, maybe 15 rounds of 10 deadlifts, 10 shouldered overhead. Mix and match in any way, all right? Let us know who the smarties are. We'll see what those fast times look like, all right? Enjoy. Hope you guys had a great Easter.